Hi guys, uh, welcome to Black Stag Styling. So in this video, we are going to be styling our own VW Amarok. Uh, so this is the two litre, it's a 2014 Reg. It's the two litre diesel um, Amarok. So in this one, we are going to be doing a number of different th bits and pieces, including uh, new alloy wheels and tires uh, with a mud tire fitted to the wheel. We've also got the wide arch kit, of course, as well. So really to bring out the uh, the sort of stance of the vehicle uh, the wide arch kit will be color coded to the vehicle and fitted we have and you know a number of different things we've got a front ball bar to go on we're going to be doing all the chrome around the vehicle to either a satin black some of it will be done like side steps and the rear bumper so these are going to be done in a raptor paint so our black raptor stone sort of guard protective paint uh, some of the trims on the front that are chrome at the moment are going to be done in a satin sort of bronzy gold colour to match in with the wheels. Um, and then of course on the interior, as always, we've got to do something different with the interior. So we are going to be hydro dipping the interior trims in what's called a desert camo. So we're going to be doing that. That will be done in, um, in a satin lacquer as well to match with the exterior. Um, probably going to be doing some bits and pieces with the seats. Uh, we've got all sorts of other things as well. So stay tuned for this one. Uh, should be a good one. Don't forget, if it's the first time checking out our channel, please like and subscribe. Um, it's a massive help to us. Turn on the notifications. That way you'll stay up to date with everything else we're doing. And don't forget, check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching. Let's get this baby in the workshop. Lovely times. Right, okay, so we're now taking the uh, first bits off the Amarok, which is the rear chrome bumper. Um, and uh, side steps, I think Ad's already got the side steps already off the vehicle. Uh, you, you don't hang about, um, do we, Adam? Don't hang about, do we, mate? Time to hang about today, have we? No time to hang about. Have we, Fraser? No, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you right? Swept yeah, off mate. my feet, I am. <laughs> Nearly dinner time, mate? Really? Nearly dinner time. Yeah, 10 minutes, mate. <laughs> Had a minute, I am just up. Doing a lovely job there, Ad, oh, lovely mate. job. Coming off lovely, you know. Side steps are off. There we go, lovely. Got to get the chrome bars off the top, get them all blasted and, and then coated, and then uh, some of it will be going with wrap to finish. Lovely times. Get them on desk. Hide, hide from me. <laughs> right, we're now going to get the uh, arches, wheel arches off the Amarok. We've got the new wide arches to go on, so we're going to test fit them. Uh, then, as long as they fit all okay and there's no problems, then we will look to uh, get them prepped, primed and painted so to match the colour of the pickup truck. Uh, this is our Amarok and then um, we'll obviously get them all fitted. So, Fraser's now on the case, look, here we go. Doing something. He's doing something. So you're going to remove the arch, isn't you, bud? Hopefully. <laughs> they are bonded on as well, aren't they? So we've got to sort of remove the bonding and the screws so we can test fit the new ones. They are over here. So here's our wider arches. Let's say once we know they're gonna fit okay, we get them all painted, we'll primed and painted. Lovely. Here we have all the uh, accessories that we are fitting to our Amarok. So we've got quite a selection of bits and pieces here. We've got the wide arches, as you know, they're all sitting there on the trestle. And as we come down, we have the black uh, wind deflectors to go on the sides of all the windows. We have the lights around front and rear. And then we have like a bug shield to go on the front bonnet, which we'll have a look, see what that looks like. We've got a couple of other bits over here. We've got in the box there, we've got tinted side repeaters. We've got a light to go in the buck, and we have the black front bar to go on the front bump, the A bar. Um, so we've got a few bits and pieces there. Um, so we'll start to get them all fitted as we move along with the rest of the bits. Of course, everything, all the chrome has got to go either black, uh, Raptor coated for the side bars and the rear bumper. Uh, that's been powder or sandblasted and then powder coated at the moment, then we'll put the Raptor coating on there. Here we go, pal. Here we go. Right, what are we doing then, James? We're in the spray booth. Oh, we? Uh, yeah, with the bits for the Amarok. Uh, what were the uh, chrome bars? 
side bars and the chrome rear bumpers. Um, they've all been uh, powder coated in a, in a matte black. Um, and I've keyed them all up and I'm now going to wrap them all. Lovely jubbly. Really good. Should we do the normal turning on? Turn me on, big boy. Oh, turn me on. Woohoo! Here's all the bits. Rear bumper sections. Lovely. Let's get them turned on. Right, we're now removing the bits from the Amarok that we are going to be hydro dipping, haven't we, Ad? Yeah, mate. Just on the we centre console? Indeed. Yeah, just uh, stripping it all out. Lovely jubbly. So we're doing, uh, which bits are we doing? So we're doing this centre main piece around the stereo here. Yep. This piece around here around the uh, controls. And I believe this piece around the uh, gear shifter. That's it. Yeah. Sounds good, mate. Oh, and around the, the two front. Oh, and the window switch two. surrounds as well, so two window switches too. Lovely. It's all coming out quite nice. Excellent. A few screws, a few clips. Lovely jubbly. Are right. you all undone, mate? Yeah, all undone. Just a few plugs to uh to do. All um there we go, the last one. All lovely colour oh. coordinate as you see. Well done, Look at this. Yeah. Like a rainbow, isn't it? Can't go wrong, can hey. we? No, Lovely. apart from there's two blue ones. <laughs> we'll strip the rest, get all the buttons out, get the vents out, and then prep it. up, and hide your flipper dip it. Superb. Let's do it. Okay, as you can see, we've now got quite a few of the parts off the Amarok. Um, Fraser has been stripping the wheel arches and the front bumper is now removed. Some of the chrome bits as well. So we've just got the bar on the back to take off. Um, and then we can start prepping the relevant bits for either the bronze to match the centres of the wheels which will be a matte bronze or the other bits will be body coloured uh, to the vehicle. So here we go. Nearly where we are at the moment. Test fitting the arches which are going out not too bad. We're going to body colour them. There we go. Hello pal. Hello mate. How you doing? Oh, good mate, all good. Good, good. We're just getting ready for a bit of hydro dipping. Lovely. We're going in the uh, desert camo here. Superb, look at that. Yeah, we've got a couple of... Looks good. A couple of small trims out of the Amarok up here. These are the bits we're doing first, aren't they, so These are the bits we're... Let's come yeah. over, come over and see it. First, this is the surround from around the uh, heated controls. Lovely. And the window switches. Superb. So we painted them in a, like a cream colour first, don't we, bud? Yeah. And then they're um, so they're the right colour, base colour for the film. Mm. Let's do it. Should we do it? Let's do it. 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 Lovely job, mate. Right, now we're over with Ad, who's uh, now going to, after we've just hide to dip that part, so he's now going to wash it off. So down to a little bit of a closer view. Okay, so this is just to wash off the uh, PVA glue, leaving the ink, the film, uh, left over at the end. So we'll be ready for a little bit of lacquering. 
Lovely time. Lovely time. So all the bits now have been lacquered in a satin lacquer um, and they're, they're all uh, hydro dipped as you know in the desert camo. So we'll have a quick look at these, they're all done, they're all now dry. Uh, so uh, we, we will very soon be getting them all fitted back into the vehicle. Let's have a little look. Here we go. We'll close up with that. So they're all satin lacquered, ready to go in. So we get these fitted back on, there's a little shape to go on our board. There's the other bits. There we go. Some other bits here that we've done in a satin lacquer. These are for a, a customer's motorbike. There we go. So in the carbon with a satin lacquer. Isn't that really cool? There we go. Look at that. Excellent. Right, we're now refitting the uh, hydro dipped parts on the interior. There's a door, um, one of the door sections. How are we doing, Ad? Hello, mate. We're all right, mate. Looking good. Just trying to plug it all back in. And the yeah. trims, you know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> There's one. Yeah, all looking good, mate. That's all smart, going back together as it should. Goes nicely with the brown trims in the interior. Yeah. There we go. Another section there we've got to get in. That's around the gear stick. Well, wow. yeah, gear stick. Lovely. Yeah, all good, mate. Look lovely. Easy to refit. In a way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be worse, but no, it's all good, really. Lovely. Action. Right, so we've got all the bits in here for the Elm Rock. Fog uh, lights around the mirror covers, little chrome, and now an epoxy black. Um, and the wheel arches, I'm now going to prime, and then that's all going body colour, and then we'll get some lacquer on it. Lovely time. So I'll let you take a video. Good evening. <laughs> and and welcome. welcome to the booth in quarantine <laughs> with me, Fraser. Today... Best place for him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, everything's been epoxied and we're now going to paint them. So, Fantastic. Yeah. So these are all the colour coded bits, yeah? Yeah, these are all the colour coded bits for the Amarok, as you saw in the previous video. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, them gonna, bits. Oh. Yeah, remember now, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Cool. There we go, with some wheel arches, lovely. Superb. Shall I turn you on? I would like that. Oh, very much. Oh, let's see what we can do. <laughs> We've just got to turn the Fraser on. I'll just turn it off for a minute and I'll film all of that. Really. Okay, right, so we've now got the uh, bars off the Amarok and now primed, they've been prepped and primed. We've got some other little trims as well, which are also uh, going to be going in the sort of bronze uh, colour to match in with the wheels with a satin lacquer, which should look really good. James will be in here in a moment, start um, spraying or colouring them, and then we'll be lacquering them afterwards, so stay tuned. Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, check out some of our other videos as well, or we'll crack on with this. I'll give you a little view of them in the primer. Look. Here we go. All primered. The other bits are over here as well. Give me a quick little view of them. Look, here we go. There's the other bits. We're doing the badges as well. They're going to be done in the bronze. And there's the other bits of the bars. Right. We'll wait for James. The room will leave. <laughs> the room will leave prime and all that. I can't get over to you, mate. So we're we'll two metres away. Yeah, two metres, mate. We've got the COVID going on. <laughs> the, COVID, the COVID cut. COVID cut, mate. <laughs> um, so yeah, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we've got the bits in the booth for the Amarok. Uh, the bits that are going in the satin bronze to match the centres of the wheels. Um, so yeah, they're all primed. I'm now about to put some base coat on. Lovely times. Lovely times.
Shall we get the boob on for you next? Yeah, turn it on. I'll turn it on. Always good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go for it, James. Action is the word you Oh, want. sorry. Action. Hey, we'll start again. You need hey. to this film and this. Action. We've got all the bits for the ammo in the booth. Uh, they're all painted in the satin bronze. They're all based up. Uh, so we've got satin beer coated over the top. Finish them off. Lovely job. Lovely job. Lovely job. <laughs> Right, here we go. It's now time to get some bits fitted back up on the Amarok. So we've got the bars all painted, look, behind me. There we go. Uh, got them all back together. So they're now ready to go on. We've got our VW badges all painted as well. There we go. And here we have Adam and Fraser. Oh, Fraser. Uh, getting the rear bumper all fitted. Back on. Habitat. <laughs> Natural habitat. <laughs> Trying to keep our two metres away from each yeah, other. Yeah, two metres see. away, something like that, as much oh, as we can. Okay, but I think we've got it. Got to make sure this one's just tucked in. There. The rear bumper we've wrapped did it to give it some uh, protection. It has been powder coated first and then wrapped it afterwards. There you go, getting that fitted back up. You done, you've broken it. That fitted like a glove earlier. Not today. Oh, there you go. That Had his fingers are in the way. <laughs> yeah. Dropped his fingers off. Really him, that fits lovely. There we go, got the bar on the back. Look, there we go. Adam's just fitting that. Ow. Whilst, whilst uh, chucking stuff at Fraser. There we go. Rear um, bumper on. There we go, Raptor coating. There we go. Lovely. Is that going on all right there, Adam? Yeah, I've just had to readjust a little bit. Uh, yeah, not too bad though. The end of the day, that gets dark, doesn't it? That does, mate. That every day as well, don't it do the same? Yeah, unreal. Lovely. Oh, right, as you can see behind me, we are now fitting the front bar to the Amarok. Um, Adam's just done the last finishing little uh, tighten up of, the, of his nuts. Uh, just so it fits nicely. As you can see behind me, here we go. Oh, just about to see behind me, there we go. And that's the last one. Oh, job. mate, well yeah, done. Look at that, look. That's on there nice and sturdy, yeah. isn't it? That's the old number plate up here. That's it. No, well, good. good. I didn't typically like these bits under here. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll see them a little bit on there. Yeah, have a little bit of room. Look at that, good, look. lovely. <laughs> Superb, it's good, pal. Uh, we're just going to change the side repeaters as well. So we've got there, we've got the normal standard clear ones on. And we come round to the other side. So we've fitted one of the, the one of the tinted ones. There we go. That look good as well. 
So we're now going to fit the other one. Lovely, here we go. Right, so we're now uh, going to be fitting the spacers onto the wheel or to the back of the wheels. Uh, to, just to bring the wheels out so they look good with the new arches that we've now fitted. So the, the uh, wide arch kit's now on. We'll just see how uh, Ad's doing. Here we go. One wheel off, bar. One wheel off, bar. Big old piece. Heavy. Yeah. Bit heavy. Wheel the same size, are we? Uh, yeah, it should be all the same size, mate. 30 mil spacers, so big beasts. Hey. Ta da. Bolt them one, so we bolt them onto the hub first. Nice lovely. fit. Lovely. Ah, lovely. Hey. They're definitely going to hold the wheels out fairly, aren't they, look? Yeah. Superb. There's the wheel arches on, look. All polished up, looking lovely. So we'll go around, quickly pan around the other side and see how they sit at the moment. So the wheels sit fairly well in on the arches. So with the spacers on. So these are bolt-on spacers. So the uh, we've got the bolts just down here. There we go. So they'll bolt the spacers to the hubs. Then we use the original bolts and locker uh, to bolt the wheel onto the spacer. There we go. Let Ad carry on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So we've now also fitted the front and rear light surrounds. There we go, like in a matte black. No, 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 no. That wasn't we, pal. That was all you. That was. That was me, wasn't that it, mate? Wasn't we, that was all I'm, you, mate. I'm very, I'm very, very proud of myself. Very proud. So, well, so I've, I've fitted them all on my own without any help. My mum will be well proud. Yeah. <laughs> look at them. Look. Cool. Just finish it off, mate. Don't they? Just finish it off. We show you the front ones. The old headlight surrounds are a bit dusty. There we go. A little bit dust. Just a little bit dust. There we go. So plenty of accessories available through Black Stag Styling. So get in touch. Check out the old website. Check us out online. All of them things. Okay, so it's time to give it a wash now. Um, we're now at the last bits uh, to finish everything off. Uh, everything's all done, so Adam, we're just going to see Adam is now outside uh, giving her a wash. Uh, then we'll get it inside, give it a nice hand polish, hand glaze uh, to finish everything, and then we'll be all done. That'll be our, uh, our Amarok Black Stag, all styled and ready to go out on the road, hopefully for a few customers to see and, um, and see what they think. Hopefully get some people in so we can style their vehicles, vans, pickups. Yeah, let's have a look. Go and see Adam. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Final wash time. Oh, mate. Final little wash. Hey. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Lovely. It's hot out here, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's really warm. You look like you're coming off. <laughs> Hi guys and thanks for checking out our latest YouTube video. Um, in this one, as you'll have seen, we've been doing our own VW Amarok. Lots and lots of bits and pieces we've done to this. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the process. Uh, and you know we'll, we'll show you now the footage of the vehicle. I'll list as many of the things as possible that we have done, uh, starting with the uh, Black Rhino wheels uh, with the mud terrain tyres. Um, so these are pretty cool especially imported from the US to, for us um, to go onto this vehicle. So we can get all of the Amaro, uh, all of the uh, black rhino wheels, fuel wheels, all sorts of wheels. So give us a call if we can help you with any of that with your vehicle. We've then color coded all the chrome sections on the vehicle. So that's your front grills uh, underneath the mirrors, uh, panels underneath the mirrors and lots of other bits and pieces the vw badges as well so all the bits that were chrome have now either been done in the color coded to the vehicle or we've matched them in the uh, satin uh, lacquered sort of bronzy finish to go with the wheels so the bits on the front and the vw badges are all to match in with the wheels 
We've done the sidebars and rear bumper have all been removed. We've had them blasted. We've then um, then painted them or powder coated them and then painted them in the black Raptor finish. So they're nice and strong, give a nice strong finish. We've done the window uh, black tinted uh, wind deflectors to go on the windows. We've smoke tinted the lights, so front and rear lights. So that's sort of removed that chrome sort of look to them. Uh, we've done the front bar, so it's got the front bar on the vehicle, like the ball bar, uh, so that's looking pretty cool. Crikey, we have also then hydro dipped or removed all the interior trims and hydro dipped them in a desert camo finish. Uh, the brown in the camo finish goes with the seats. We've also then had the vehicle sign written uh, with our black stag styling, so hopefully you've uh, enjoyed watching all of these bits and pieces being done. It's been cool doing this, don't want to go rat rabbit on for too much longer. As always, thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget, please like and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the notifications. Check out some of the links below as well. Check out some of our other videos. And please don't forget to comment on what we've been doing. We'd like to know what you think. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again soon.